Hello, my gorgeous Taurus. Welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all feeling spectacular. I really hope that the week has just been wonderful for all of you. And of course, that you end this week on a high note. So Taurus, it is the 2nd of October, 2024. It is Tuesday. I was going to say it's Tuesday. What am I saying? It's Wednesday. <laughs> it's Wednesday here in um, Australia. We are officially now only left with three months left until the end of the year and a lot can happen. So let's jump straight in, Taurus. Let me clear the deck. And of course, in light of the month of Halloween, I'll be using the, I believe this is this the Haunted Mansion Tarot. And I'll be clarifying with the classic Halloween Tarot deck. Now, Taurus, I do want to talk about you and a particular person, your person of interest, regardless of the type of connection you have with them right now. And I usually find out pretty early what type of connection you have with them, whether you're talking to them or not. So I really want to dig in about what do you need to know about them right now? The truth of this connection. I'll make sure to uncover everything and get down to the nitty and gritty for you, Taurus. So what is the purpose then of this reading, right? Even if you're just passing time or you're just curious, there's no wrong answers. But primarily, I want to provide you, Taurus, with confirmation of something that maybe you know or what you're feeling, what your intuition is telling you. Um, clarity and, of course, insight, right? So let's do it. Everything that you need to know about your person and this connection, mainly the truth, right? Now, we're just going to do it two more times. I'm already seeing the initial R for like Robert, Roberta. That's first name, last name, initial. Could be you or your person. That will not be for everyone. I am seeing the initial L for like Leah. All right, here we go. All right, see that? All right, the card's already exploding out of my hands. Three of Cups, Cancer Energy. Okay, there might be perhaps a reconciliation or at least coming together after a time apart. For some of you, I think you're worried if there's a third party hanging around. We'll see. Okay, okay. I kind of feel that, you know, I usually shuffle very quickly and I hold on to the cards very quickly. There's that three of cups again. Um, maybe a person, there's something that, that I want you to know about or find out. Okay, I'm not sure. I don't want to say too much until... All right, they're saying one more. Until I actually see the cards. Here we go. Now, Taurus. You, do, you don't have to, but I do encourage you to subscribe to this particular channel. That way you are guaranteed to never, ever miss out on a reading that Gigi and I, Fifi, do for you here in Australia every single Wednesday without fail. And also this Saturday, your weekend bonus tarot reading will be uploaded at 12 p.m. Let's get straight to it. What is at the bottom of the deck? What is unseen? What is brewing for you to know? We do have the Eight of Wands, the second fastest moving energy in the deck. This is regardless if this person is near or far, get ready because there are messages coming your way. This is known as Cupid's arrow, love messages. We've got incoming, outgoing, incoming, outgoing, and so forth. So I see that both of you will be sending messages and responding. I love the eight of wands. It's actually always the bearer of fantastic, beautiful news, beautiful opportunities to move forward. It does represent a quick, sudden flurry of activity, of movement to move forward. But let's see. Ooh. I see that your person will be reaching out, but first they're tossing up the idea with that two of pentacles. It's like, oh, should I, should I not? They will because I always see this as a rule of thumb, Taurus. Wands always represent action. And here they're just kind of taking their sweet time thinking, okay, I do want to, but what do I say? Am I going to regret it? Mm. Why are they afraid? Perhaps you know this rather than me better because you know this person better than anyone else. We do have the moon, Pisces, Cancer, Energy. This is some internal fears and anxieties that this person has. Apprehensions, fear of the future. How is Taurus going to respond? Will they respond to me? Will I find out that they hate me, for example? Have they blocked me? Now, why is this? Now, this could be obviously because there might have been some mysteries, some secrets. Perhaps your person was withholding something from you because the moon always says, okay, there is a lot more to this situation under the surface. And the bigger the full moon, the more shadows there are, the more there are things that perhaps you Taurus didn't see in the past. Maybe you caught them out, something happened because now they're really afraid about how to approach you. 
they're gonna do it i'm happy because we did see the full now we do see the full <laughs> i can't talk properly aries energy they're just making a run for it straight towards you a bit of desperation on their face here so this is the first card of the major arcana it does represent brand new beginnings they're going to bite the bullet they're going to do it anyway despite the challenges here they're being their own cheer squad but that's the thing we do have the tower scorpio energy so this is a card of revelations clearly there's been a downfall here between the both of you it might have ended quite abruptly it could have been perhaps the mother of all revelations a secret you found out um, something they said something they did behind your back and that tower represents a relationship that came crashing down but i almost see that this person's arrival is and their message is going to be very sudden so we may be a bit blindsided a bit shocked by this nothing to worry about they just want to talk to you let's see they want to talk to you because we've got the hierophant that's taurus energy wow and i can see here that the main topic is going to be about commitment engagement marriage about being together can we take it to the next level Someone here might actually also suggest either like counseling, relationship counseling, or spiritual counseling as well. Let's get to the main one. So it's going to be a shocking arrival, shocking messages from this person. And it's all about you. So the Ace of Pentacles is Taurus. We've also got Virgo and Capricorn, primarily Taurus here. That is the mother of all offers. I always say that. Every time you see the Ace of Pentacles, you might be tired of me saying that, but it is true. It is pretty much the biggest offer out of all the Aces. And this is about commitment and it's about marriage. It's about going steady. It's something quite solid here that they want to give to you. More please. Wow. Why is this person is really... <laughs> I'm, trust me, I'm not laughing. I would never do that. But the thing is, this person is so... There's so, mental, so much mental stress around this person because they already anticipate that many of you might say no to them. Nine of Swords, Gemini energy, they literally, look at that, the swords above them are tormenting your person mentally. They're losing sleep here. Guilt seeks punishment. Your person's feeling extremely guilty about something that they did to you. Even if they were hiding something, it's like, why on earth did I do that? There's no way Taurus is going to accept this from me anymore. Oof, all right. Five of Wands. Leo energy. So everyone is using those wands as weapons they're using those ones to hurt each other so if your person is a bit of a hardhead in other words very stubborn my way or the highway you know if you had to compete for this person's attention if there were arguments conflict a clash of egos if there was just a lot of tension you know we're kind of snapping at each other your per and if even if your person may have a bit of a, a temper and they lashed out whatever it was this is they're sorely regretting this and you know, kind of the hope that you're going to accept this mother of all offers, the Ace of Pentacles. They're kind of losing faith, but they're still going to approach you. More, please. Yeah, Four of Wands, my third favorite card in the entire deck. Aries Energy. This is Twin Flame Relationship. We've got literally the 11. 11 there. Some of you might be seeing a series, a sequences of numbers, especially the ones. This is a card of reconciliation. Your person wants to come back home to you. When I say that, literally it could be home, moving in together, moving back in together in due time, but you represent home. Again, hot topics of commitment, engagement, and marriage with you. Celebration, children, having that beautiful home. Uh, wow. Okay, they're serious about this. You're getting an apology. Now, we do have the Knight of Cups, the most romantic knight, right? Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Energy. This is your person's arrival, and I feel like because I can't stand what they did, I really feel like they're really losing sleep there's a lot of anxiety like literally their heart is beating hard and fast we got an apology they want a reunion here with you messages changes offers transitions in the next short months all to do with romance they may actually ask you out somewhere very romantic mm. some of you may need a bit more time perhaps a bit more convincing a time to reflect this is virgo energy that is the wise sage it is the hermit your person wants to really show you that they're going to go above and beyond, that their actions are going to speak louder than their words, that they have really changed here as well. If you actually give this person the silent treatment, they're going to persist. They are going to come and find you. That is the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. That's the number one fastest moving knight. Ooh, okay. So obviously it's pretty obvious here, right? I'm just going to say it. We're not going to beat around the bush. It's pretty obvious that... Obviously, for you to actually say, I need some time 
to think about this, to look within and to really contemplate. They've obviously done something here that is pretty big. It is quite challenging. It's quite negative what they have done to you. That is you. Five of pumpkins is five of pentacles. That is Taurus energy. For some of you, you really feel like this person left you out in the cold, that they abandoned you. It's a very big card of rejection. They may have chosen something or someone else over you. They might have ghosted you, blocked you. And now it's like, yeah, they're probably thinking, anticipating that you're going to do the same to them. For the minority of you, I'm hearing like literally 1% of you. Um, this person could have maybe money was lost or stolen thanks to them it was hemorrhaging somewhere they perhaps even asked you for some money and they never gave it back to you that's definitely not for everyone though all right let's do this two more so that's why i'm just picking up why is there so much fear there's a lot of mental and emotional fear around this person to reapproach you they are scared and they're dreaming very big here. And, you know, it's, I'm just hearing like Friday, Saturday, Sunday night. This person's actually quite lonely and they're a little bit hermity. Ooh, get ready. Ace, oh my God, we got the sun at the bottom. They're not giving up. They, they still think there's light at the end of the tunnel. We got the tower again and the ace of cups, the card of true love. This person wants to literally have a brand new start with you. Oh, you're not, yeah, this is, you, you might be blindsided, but not in a bad way though. Two, last one. I'm seeing the initial T. Initial T, that's not for everyone, of course. Bottom of the deck, yeah, six of wands, six of imps, six of wands, Leo energy. They want to work things out. They want to move away from the five and go to the six of wands. This is showing that they can be success, believe it or not, long term, down the road, respectively here with time and this reunion, they can, this can work out. It's going to take time though. This is not a quick rise to the top or you know, a quick um, taking short breaks, we could say, you know, cutting break, what do they say? Cutting corners, right? And um, getting to your heart. This is, this is going to take time because look at that. That's you right there. Um, not saying you're the scarecrow, but you know what I mean. The seven of pentacles is Taurus energy. They're going to make you a series of offers. One is going to be that big one, right? And there you are quietly contemplating it before you say yes, because you are thinking long term. You're thinking about the future. Should you stay or should you move on? Stay with that 10 of cups, my favorite 10, Pisces energy reunion, or should you move on with that six of swords, Aquarius energy? I do believe some of you perhaps want to at least fight for this. The Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy. That is the Wounded Warrior. The Wounded Warrior never, ever gives up, right? But then you, I still, you have reservations. And I feel like some of you perhaps look at this, mm, you, I think you're curious. You know, we've got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here with um, Ace of Wands and Temperance. Four of Wands again. The Devil card, you're tempted with that Devil, Capricorn energy. Yeah, so, so far you've got one foot in, one foot out, but it's almost like this person, ha you have a soft spot um, for this person. So it appears that some of you are very curious because wands are very curious energies to perhaps give them another chance. You are worried though with that five of pentacles again. What if they revert back to their old ways? What if they actually hurt me again? Those are very legitimate questions. Let's talk about the ace of pentacles, six of cups, the big nostalgic, nostalgic card. A very big card of reconciliation, Scorpio energy, getting to know each other all over again. So I kind of feel both of you are quite nostalgic over each other, but we're not seeing it. We're not talking to each other. We're not together anymore. Um, clearly, both of you know deep down inside there is unfinished business. But I see your person is the first one to take that step into the unknown, to approach you first and crossing the fingers and toes that you will be meeting them in the middle. Let's talk about their mindset here. Wow. Yeah. The four of swords, Libra energy. So swords can represent weeks, challenges, but more mental challenges here, right? So, you know, this is about rest, recuperation, recovery. It is healing. It is planning their next step. What are they going to say to you? This is what happens after the three of swords, which is heartbreak, regardless if there was a third party or not. So I'm not going to say it. not a day goes by where they don't think about you. The five of wands, that's pretty heavy energy. Yeah, I, I knew it. This person said something or they did something to you they acted in a way that hurt you and now with that five of cups that is scorpio energy again see we've got these fives and your person has also the six 
of Wands and the Six of Cups. I want to move away from the Five energy. And Fives are actually miniature versions, smaller versions of the Tower, Scorpio energy. So your person here is feeling very emotionally embarrassed, guilty and ashamed. They're looking like, oh, did I do that? Yes, you did. So they are, they are mourning about the death of this relationship, how things ended. Love lost. Wow. Now they want to come back home to you. They're going to do it. We've got the full. Wow. Aries energy. Unnumbered. The first card of the major arcana called the fool's journey. They're going to take that leap of faith. And they are very aware of the challenges, but it's not going to stop them. So what do they want? Brand new beginnings, you know, to recapture the purity and the innocence of this connection. I kind of feel that you are on board, but perhaps you just need a bit more time with your thoughts and your feelings here. Let's talk about the most romantic night, please. The Nine of Pentacles, the minor arcana of the Empress, which is you. We've got Taurus Libra energy and here we've got Virgo energy. So everything that you and this person have been through together and also individually has both led you to this point. Uh, you're on top of your game here. You are successful. Some of you do consider yourself still single, right? Um, you're accomplished, independent. Your person does hold you in high regard, but this is the thing. They don't want to be single. They don't want you to be single. In fact, I'm kind of feeling a lot of you might not be single by the end of this year. This person really is going to go above and beyond. And at least what I do appreciate is that mentally and emotionally, they know what they did was wrong. And now it's like, how do I fix this? Mm. Let's talk about uh, the hermit, please. See, look, you need a, I think you need a bit more time to think about this. Look at this. The hermit is clarified by the hermit. What are the chances? Perhaps you are not yet ready or maybe it's like maybe you have your own internal fears and anxieties about the future. What if they hurt you again? Let's go deeper. This is why I always take out more cards for the outcome. Yeah, because of the seven of swords, Aquarius energy, trust may have been severed. Perhaps you don't trust this person or even any word that comes out of their mouth. So you need more time, a bit more convincing, right? Maybe you've lost faith here, but trust has indeed been severed. The King of Swords. You just want the truth from this person. Aquarius, Leo, uh, sorry, Aquarius, Libra. <laughs> they both start with an L. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. I feel like you, I'm hearing that you want to give a person a piece of your mind, but not to argue with them. It's like, you just want to state facts and they need to sit there and listen to you. The Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So it's pretty apparent here that um, you are still getting an apology. It's genuine, absolutely, because, you know, the, the page of cups is messages that are fueled by love. They are backed by emotions here. And this is your person still crushing on you. You may still be crushing on them, but you're going to kind of lay down the law here and put your foot down. And I, I see that it's going to go your way. Let's get, I don't know why they're telling me, I wasn't going to use this deck, but they're telling me to take out three cards. There we go. Thank you. All right, what do we have? Settling, and I think this is you. Yeah, avoid settling for less than you deserve in love. So for this person to, for you to actually take them back, they're really gonna have to go above and beyond. And it's gonna have to be genuine. Where it's, this is the ex, healing from the past. Heartbreak takes time, be patient with yourself. So this is definitely the ex returning. In fact, you know, the king and the queen of wands are often depicted as our ex. You know, this is someone that we do have history with. For some of you, this could be long distance, right? But it says there that love knows no distance. It transcends time and space here. That could have been an issue here as well. I do want to take out two more cards. Thank you. Okay, we do have gifts. Some of you may be receiving something quite tangible, a token of love, a gift from this person. All right, so we've got proposal and we do have the Ace of Pentacles. That is the mother of all proposals and offers. And we've got it right here. Look, an offer or proposal in the near future that comes as a surprise. Interesting because the Page of Cups is the surprise card as well. Yeah, I told you getting an apology. Never underestimate the power of a heartfelt apology. This is going to take time. I can already see it. Yeah. See, closure. I don't know. It's like it's either let me go so I can close this. Or if you're coming back, come back correctly. It's telling you to relax. We also have gifts. We have illusions. You're seeing past the illusions. You're seeing past the BS. You're not approaching this person with rose-tinted glasses. But this, I, 
I feel like you've got one foot in, one foot out. Most of you, I feel, will meet this person in the middle and like play it by ear. So like, I'm gonna take my time and see where this goes. We did get uh, temperance and that also tells you to be patient with yourself and take your time. There's no need to rush. They're not going anywhere, Taurus. But I will say this though, I don't see your person reverting back to their old ways or hurting you. In fact, I'm, I'm really seeing, I don't like to see anyone suffer, but I am seeing that they have kind of suffered quite enough mentally, emotionally, even physically here with that five of wands. They don't want to fight. They want your forgiveness, but there is no wrong answer here. If you want to take them back, so be it. But if you don't, then that's what it is. Then we're going to have closure here. They will be persisting you though with the apology, you know, with the proposal, the big offer here. They want to be back in your good books again. Um, and I feel that it is quite possible, actually. Strongly, I do feel it, it is very possible. But on your end, I feel like you just need time to kind of ease back into the connection and learn to trust them again. Because that Seven of Swords tells me it's actually been severed. So they're going to have to rebuild this again. Yeah, we got that relaxed card. I feel like this is more for you. Yeah, find joy in the simple pleasures of just being together. Relax for me is actually telling me perhaps you don't have anything to worry about, but I get that seeing is believing. I totally get that. So this is probably something that you need to see for yourself. So you make that confident decision to either say no to them, have closure, or to slowly reintroduce them back into your life. Because the damage has been done. But boy, I, I feel like they're serious about this. So... Let it come and let it flow. Thank you for joining me. This is the truth of the matter. They are returning. They don't want this to be over. According to them, it's unfinished business. We'll see you this Saturday, um, Taurus, at 12 p.m. for your bonus weekend tarot reading. Thank you for joining me. Power to you again. Bye, Taurus.